Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop of Coma Du Fourier from Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all these pops have little quotes on them. Homeboy here's got musical notes. That's a nice touch. Oh, and let me not forget to show you the little piece of shiny and chrome back there. Just look at this pop. The pop of the Du Fourier turned out pretty damn cool. There's a lot of things I like about this, so let's just dive right on in. As per usual, let's focus on the body first. Look at the details on that guitar. Look at the paint on the little toilet seat there, and all the sculpting going on on the multiple necks, and the little uh, the little doohickeys and thing with bobs and stuff hanging off it. It looks great. I like in particular the sculpt on his shoes. I like the, the lacing on them. Very simple, but very well done. The paint on it's clean. They, uh, they almost read like, you know, chucks. I like the little straps going across the uh, leg there. Little silver buckles are pretty decently painted. I love the, the sculpt of his, uh, his body, so his positioning of his hands on the guitar look good. The wrinkling of, the, of his little, uh, his little pajammy onesie looks great, including the little butt flap there. Love that. Um, but man, this head rocks. Uh, be on the lookout if you care about overly painted ones. There are some that I saw where the, the little kind of paint lines that are in these wrinkles are really heavily applied. Um, and then somewhere this line that goes along the bottom wrap where it meets his jaw. This is a little thicker than I wanted. Uh, some were thinner and a little cleaner, but this one had a better uh, top bandage overall. But yeah, the paint of like the kind of eye sockety area and the, like, kind of the dirtiness of his nose looks good. Uh, a little bit of skin paint there for his wrapped mouth area. But I love the sculpt of the way the bandages meet in the back. And the kind of washy paint really highlights that. But they did a good job translating this into kind of a cartoony, poppy form. So that's pretty good. Uh, if you're hunting for this in stores, the only thing I could recommend you be on the lookout besides what I mentioned about the head wraps is the guitar itself. I saw some where the necks were a little warped. Uh, the bottom one could bend down. The top one would bend up. And this little middle section here can get a little, uh, like, like a little S-curve. It would kind of bend in the middle. Uh, but this one's pretty good. And most of the ones I saw were decent. But, uh, man, I really like this a lot. Uh, I'm hoping I get my hands on the uh, exclusive version that's got the fire coming out without the head bandages. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to me here on YouTube and all that stuff. Thanks. Bye.